Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I want to talk to you again today about this. Now this is the recycled plastic bottle cordage we made a little while ago and it seemed pretty popular so I thought I'd do another quick follow-up video on it. A um, few people asked me questions, um, predominantly what was I planning on using it for? Um, and really, you know, I'd, I'd seen this elsewhere online I thought it was a clever idea so I thought I'd give it a go. And the more thought I've been putting into this, um, the more um, or the lack of options I'm actually seeing for it. Now that's not to say it won't be useful. Um, I think it genuinely will, especially in a sort of a, a survival type situation or just having it in your pack for, for, for various tasks, but it is quite specific. Um, so what I wanted to do today was run through a couple of options for using it and a couple of sort of its properties, if you like. Um, the first one I wanted to talk about was its strength. Now, pulling this like, this, I'm, I'm struggling to break it. Um, and because it's got slightly sharp edges, I don't want to put too much pressure on my hands. What I have got are a couple of bits of off cut. And what I'm gonna do is wrap those around here so that I've got something to hold on to. Let me see if I can get another turn in there. And you can do it if you've got some leverage. Um, but it is pretty strong cord. I wouldn't be hanging anything uh, like a hammock off of it. Um, I probably wouldn't even put a tarp on there, to be honest. The reason being is these sharp edges, and I will show you a little close-up of this. You know, they're not sharp, sharp. Um, they're, they're more akin to sort of, you know, getting a paper cut. If you get it on your, on your skin and you pull it at the right angle, especially fast, you are likely to cut yourself. So I would recommend using gloves generally with this. Um, but what do I think it's really good for? Um, and the answer I've come up with, at least I think, is lashing. Um, now, I don't know if you're anything like me, but when I'm out in the field, I like building things. If I'm going out for a weekend and I've got a little bit of a base camp going on, um, I will build anything from a shelter all the way down to something silly like a table. Um, and you know, you can get four uh, sticks stuck in the ground, you can lash a little square shape around them and then put a bunch of sticks on top of that and create a little tabletop. It's a really nice little project, even if you're just out for an afternoon, especially if you're taking your kids or something with you, it's a nice easy one. Don't really need any tools for it unless you want to take a saw so you can cut things down to size a little bit easier, uh, but it's a really nice thing to do. Um, so what I've done, you would have seen in my one of my previous videos, I was playing around with my cold steel bowie, and what I've done is I've scalloped out these two sticks, um, just so that they fit together a little bit better. Um, if you were going to do this out in the field, that's probably your simplest and easiest way of doing it. I'd never go more than about halfway because then you're... Um, you're making the, the, the sticks um, more breakable, you know, you're reducing that structural stability. Um, what you can also do is put a saw cut down halfway, maybe an inch or two wide on either one. Use your knife to then carve that out and you can slot them together like a, you know, a bit like a sort of carpentry joint. Um, but what I want to do is using this, and it's going to be a little bit fiddly, which is why I've left the camera over there today. Um, what I want to do is just try and lash these together and see how get off, see how strong this is going to be. So I've got a couple of wraps around one way. I'm now going to move over to the other side. I'm going to stand up for this just so I can manage my cordage a little bit better. So initially, this is what it will look like. Um, I've got about four wraps on each, I think, something like that. Um, and that is just holding this cross shape together. Now, you can imagine that this could be... Um, you know, the supports for a table, you could build a chair, this could be the way you're lashing together your shelter. Um, you know, the possibilities really are endless when it comes to sort of cordage and building. Um, so I am gonna whiz through this, I'll probably only take me a minute or two, but I'll skip through this footage just so you can see what the finished result's gonna look like. Right, so there we go guys, that is our piece lashed together. Um, you know, that would be perfectly ample 
for building something out in the field. Uh, where's my knife? There we go. See if I can get this cut. There we go. Right. So now that the lashing is finished, we've got a little tail piece, obviously. And what I like to do is maybe unwind it a turn. Actually, no, that'll do. So you essentially want to pop the cord underneath itself and form essentially a simple knot. Um, and once you've done that, you can tie it any number of ways. Um, I like to just find a little loop, move this where you can actually see me for a change. Find a little loop, that's the problem with this cord, it does like to jump out of itself, it likes to sort of coil itself under its own tension and again you can tie that in just a very simple knot and you can always loop it, where are we, you can always loop it under one of the others that's already taut, if I can find one there we go. Come on. Like so. Now, this is now bound together. I mean, there's a little bit of wiggle in there, but you know, we're not going to be using this for um, anything particularly structural. You know, if this was on a chair, it will quite easily take your weight. Now, what I'm interested in doing is seeing if I put some pressure on this, if I push both my hands together. Yeah, there's no way. About pulling it. Yeah, there's no way I'm breaking this. There's just too much of that strong plastic on there. Um, so that's just, and again, this was only meant to be a short video, but that is just a very simple way of using this lashing. Now, obviously, the more I flex it, you will stretch that slightly and I can get a bit more wiggle in it. But if you're using this for something static, a chair, a table, um, you know, the supports to go on maybe the roof of a shelter or a cross beam to go across before you start laying sticks and things on it. This is going to work absolutely fine. Um, now, the other thing to say, and I think I mentioned this in the other video, this is obviously not biodegradable. Um, now, you know, I know some people don't really care about recycling and the environment, um, but, you know, I do genuinely think it is important. Um, and if you are going to use this out in the field, um, either when you're finished, cut it off and take it with you, or if you've got a permanent camp, um, there's no problem leaving this on there. You know, if, it, if it's holding something together and you're not just kind of chucking it on the ground or cutting it off or burying it or even burning it, because you, know, you, you obviously get uh, you know, fumes and chemicals off this that will leach into the ground. Um, but you know, if it's part of a permanent camp, you've built a little shelter, maybe you've made a chair or a table that sort of lives there for whenever you go back. Um, there's no problem leaving this there. I, I do it all the time with paracord, um, and I think I'm going to start doing it with this as well. Just because it's a, well, I say cheap, it's a free cordage option. You know, paracord is cheap as chips nowadays. Um, you know, you can get um, 440 for a couple of quid for, for quite a long section. Um, but, you know, as something that's absolutely free, um, you know, the missus um, tends to drink um, sort of fizzy drinks, um, so I've got bottles hanging around the house. I'm not a fan of them, but, you know, I've, I've got access to them, and as, as I imagine everybody has. Um, and, you know, you can make this, as you saw in the other video, very quickly, very easily, um, with things you've got laying around. Um, and you can come up with something like this. Um, so I hope it was useful guys, hope it's just kind of clarified a little bit kind of my thoughts on how I'm going to be using this and, and what I think it's good for and not good for for that matter. Um, you know, it's pretty strong um, and ultimately it's free. So you get some free cordage that you can play around with um, to your heart's content. So I hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers guys.